Hey guys, welcome back to my MS channel. Today is going to be my friend here, Conrose. Please like it, like and subscribe. Enjoy our next video and comment down below. Hey guys, welcome back to my new subscribers. You are so welcome to this channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button as you enjoy this video. I will be sharing a lot of details on how I take care of my son's hair after he has suffered what is called tenia capitis. Okay guys, my son's hair was really, really bad. So please watch this video to the end. I'll be sharing some of the videos and how I take care of his hair and how he got this volume of hair at the moment so enjoy guys i love you guys see you as we progress bye so guys after i applied um shea butter to the hair i went ahead to um hot comb the hair and right here i'm going to just fast forward the video so that's how you see that it's really um fast and it looks like i'm pushing my child's hair no i am really gentle combing my child's hair this is just in case for those of you that thinks that oh this woman is really rough or why is she pushing this little boy's hair no the video is fast forward and that's my why hair is cold, so she's a Hey guys, so this is a story that I will never forget in a hurry, okay, because it was traumatizing to me and to my kids and I think that has made me to decide, you know, not to cut my children's hair. You know, for, for a long time <laughs> so guys um, I think this happened late last year late um, 20 yeah is it late 2021 or uh, middle of 2021 I'm not too sure again because now it's all stories so <laughs> I don't remember anymore but this was what happened so at some point I was cutting my children's hair like you know myself I usually like um, cut their hair myself so on this faithful day I decided to take the children to a barber shop and getting to the barber shop uh, I saw a guy you know the guy is I, I don't want to say the race but you know the, the barber shop was cutting this particular guy's hair and I noticed some kind of rash on this particular guy's hair and my children were to be the next in line and i'm like oh my god i actually called the barber to one side you know like i excused the barber and i asked him like i'm not too comfortable with uh, the fact that you just cut this particular guy's hair and my kids are next in line and this guy assured me saying that oh nothing that he has some um sanitizer and is going to treat the clipper before cutting my children's hair Mm? I was like, okay, no worries. At that day, my kids, you know, the guy cut my children's hair and then we went home. Um, fast forward, after like about two weeks or so, I noticed some tiny um, kind of rash on my children's hair. And I'm like, oh my God, what is this? So as a Nigerian mom, i decided to use triple action on my own you know to like this triple action is like anti um, bacteria anti whatever whatever they wrote on it and i started using it on my children's hair the more i applied this triple action on my children's hair the more it became worse so guys and i was confused and i'm like oh my god what is going on this thing was getting bad by day it was getting worse by day so i quickly went to the emergency you know for the first time i went to the emergency um like for the first time concerning the hair stuff the, the scalp stuff so i went to the emergency or the hospital the the doctors looked at it and said oh nothing is nothing serious um just take them home and if it gets bad you can come back they're not going to give them anything you know it's nothing serious so um, for me after spending about three hours in the emergency i took my kids and i went back home getting home you know as the day progresses the more 
you know, the more, the worse it became. It was getting bad, like bad. Like my younger son's hair was literally bringing out um, pus. Like you can see that it's bringing out pus. It was so, so bad. Guys, I will be sharing some of the videos at the end of this video guys please this video is very sensitive so if you know <laughs> you're not the kind of person that would stand uh, blood and pause and all of that please don't watch but yeah i will be sharing some of these videos to you guys to see for you guys to see so guys i went back home and the hair was getting bad i went back again to the emergency and the doctor looked at it and said oh he's going to refer me to the kids um i don't know i don't know what they call them you know but like a skin doctor for kids is yeah dermatologist sorry guys so he's going to refer me to the kids dermatologist so he referred me to a doctor and the doctor contacted me via um, zoom and we made like a video call and the doctor saw the hair and he was like oh my god he has never seen something like this before and that he is going to um uh you know send if i can go to the hospital and then they can scrape the the, the scrap and send to him so that he can uh, he can you know do tests to be sure what it is so for me as a mom i went on google and i was searching and i was checking like what is this and i found out that it's tenia cavities okay like it's more aggressive form of ringworm and i was like oh my god the more i apply stuff to this hair the more it's, it's, it gets it gets worse like really bad so guys i i did after the test the doctor um, called me back and said oh this thing is more aggressive form of ringworm and it's called tenia capitis so i wasn't wrong from my findings on google and that um, is very like highly contagious uh, he's going to send me uh, a cream a prescription that i can use on the hair so i i was like okay so finally he sent the, the prescription he wrote the prescription and i went to shoppers drug mart and this thing took like two days for them to make this particular drugs for my kids and i started applying this thing on their scalp and it started drying up gradually it started drying up and you know and when it dried up my other son's hair i was so scared because the doctor said at some point it could eat up the hair follicles and when it eats up the hair follicles like that particular spot will never grow again so i was so so scared for my children and i'm like oh my god i don't want my kids to have you know permanent scar on their scalp you know so i was so scared but god being god um the hair grew back you know and i was using different products on their hair and that has made me you know so scared i don't want to cut their hair anymore okay so i told myself i'm not going to cut their hair anymore i'm just going to be doing their cornrows and styling their hair i know they are boys and but this is my decision and yeah i just want to keep it that way for now maybe when they grow older and they decide to cut their hair you know i can do that i can actually get them clipper like each of them clipper and do the cutting myself but for now i just want to enjoy i just want them to enjoy their hair because they really really suffered this thing and yeah and my kids have been so scared like when i tell them i want to take them to the barber shop to cut their hair they get so scared and they be like mommy no i don't want to push them to doing things they don't want to do so guys this is my short story i hope you guys enjoy it i will be sharing some of the videos and the pictures you know for you guys to see how bad the hair was please leave me a comment in the comment section if you've ever experienced something like this and how you were able to overcome it please leave me a comment in the comment section and moms out there please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and to my new subscribers i love you guys so very much thank you so much for supporting this channel um thank you so much and please leave me a comment and also um 
turn on your bell notification so that you will be the first to get notified when i post new videos i love you guys have a good day bye So this is Jaden and um, at this point the hair has already started drying up and healing and this right here is Jetro and this is how it looks at that time you know this thing happened during the time the lockdown was just easing up i think it was middle of 20 um end of 2020 i think so yeah end of 2020 so this is how it was this thing is highly contagious like to the extent it have actually affected my skin like my hand so it's very very contagious highly contagious but i thank god it's all cleared up now and my son's hair is all good so guys if you have if you ever experienced such such a thing please leave me a comment in the comment section and uh yeah tell me how it healed up thank you guys for watching once again bye thank you guys for watching look at my hair if you like it please like and subscribe and enjoy next video bye